Hello, so we're going to have a look at setting up a wireframe render in Clarice and luckily this is really quick and easy to do. So I've got my ship here rendering in grey on my image and the way we turn this into a wireframe render is by going anywhere in your browser, though I'd recommend setting up a little folder for it, but right clicking and then starting to type wireframe and this will find the wireframe texture utility. So we'll hit enter on that and what this does, it just goes and looks at your geometry's polygons and sends the wireframe straight to a shader, which is perfect. So we need to right click again and start typing matte to get a shader to put it into. So we get the matte shader there. And the matte shader is great because it doesn't get affected by lighting, which makes it really quick. And it's also what we want for a wireframe render. So we can press F2 on that. And I'm going to type wireframe underscore matte. Now with that selected, we can grab the wireframe texture and drag it up into the color here. And alternatively, you can click here and find it here. So now we've got the shader set up, we need to apply it to every object in the image. So the quickest way to do that is to come to your image, navigate to the 3D layer, and then come to your override material. And we can find our wireframe. And there we go. Now every object in the render has got the same shader. Now, depending on the density of your object, you might need to edit the edge thickness, which I need to here. So quick way to do that is to click on the picker here and the middle mouse on the object which will take you straight to the shader and then you can click on the wireframe and we can edit the thickness of the lines so let's say 0.2 which looks a lot better and you can also play around with the colors in here as well so let's say we set the edge color to blue there we go it's looking cool so if you wanted to take this one step further you could apply different materials and wireframes to different parts of your model to deal with the different densities so the way you do that is to come back to your image quickly to the 3D layer. I'm just going to turn off the override, come back to the wireframe. I'm going to select both of these, copy and paste them, and then let's rename it to Matt, Matt underscore L for large, and the same with this one. And then when we've got our wireframe L selected, we're going to come here, we're going to make the wires thick again, and also let's make it red so we can really tell the difference. So now if we hit play, we can just start dragging our mats onto our object, which is really cool. There we go. Now another way of dealing with this would be to use shading layers, and then you could use rules to target different parts of your geometry with different wireframes, and that would save you having to manually drag onto every single piece of geometry you've got. But yeah, I hope that was helpful for you.